so I get to talk about the Blackhawks again. That's super exciting. Um, although this is a little bit of an interesting topic here. Um, in case you have not heard the Nashville Predators, they are going to be implementing a new policy for just three games um, on the schedule. At least I'm pretty sure it's just three games, and those games are going to be specifically against the Chicago Blackhawks. That is the November 16th game, the December 17th game, and the April 12th game all the way in 2014. So, what does this mean? This means there's a new policy for... Actually, I think this policy is for every game. Um, You have to buy one ticket and then buy a second ticket. This new policy basically is to hurt, um, you know, fans of other teams, especially with the Chicago Blackhawks, who are fairly close to Nashville. And that fan base for, you know, such a big team spreads fairly far. So there are Chicago Blackhawks fans nearby Nashville. And they will go to these games and they'll show up in big numbers and kind of, you know, create an issue for the home team. It takes away the home environment. So to combat that, basically the Predators decided, you know what? You can't just buy one ticket. You can't buy a single ticket anymore. You now have to buy two tickets. You have to buy something for another game. So you're going to be stuck buying a ticket for who knows. You know, take your pick. What team do you want to see the Nashville Predators play who aren't your Chicago Blackhawks? Or in other situations for other teams. It really kind of is just stupid. I mean, it's a money-making technique, without a doubt. It's a... These are people, I mean, they claim that it's people who are going in, they're coming down from Chicago, driving all the way down to Nashville, which is a fairly far drive. And they're going to come and see our team get beat by the Blackhawks, because, you know, Stanley Cup champion, 17 seconds. Anyways, so yeah, they just want to say that it's a way to keep them from coming out. But really what it is, it's a way for them to make extra money. They're going to make this extra money because, you know, Blackhawk fans, yeah, there's plenty of Blackhawk fans who can say, I only got money to go to one game. And maybe for some reason I want to go see them play Nashville. But I can't afford that ticket and another ticket on top of that. So it really screws over a lot of fans. And it even screws over your home fans who might want to go see the game but aren't going to be able to because they don't have, once again, they don't have the money to afford more than one game. It just screws over some fans, and it's a stupid idea. It's a money-making technique. You want to sell double the tickets. But here's the fun thing. There's now a huge market for these tickets because people who have money and have the money to spend can go and buy multiple tickets and then go to StubHub or even just any website, go to their friends, whatever, people they know via Facebook, anything like that, even sports forums as well and say, I got a ticket. You want a ticket? You only have to buy one. It's going to cost you more than face value. But it's only one ticket. It costs less than two. So, I mean, you have this weird black market set up by the organization itself because of the fact that they put this weird safeguard in there to A, make money, and B, keep Chicago Blackhawks fans out of their stadium. It's just, it's stupid. I don't see the point. And I mean, you know, other teams are going to do this as well when they have a big matchup against a big team, jack up those prices, make some more money. But you're really hurting the local businesses. You're hurting local restaurants, um, hotels, because obviously Chicago fans are not going to go here. You know, you're not going to get the away fans that will have to eat out. They'll have to, you know, visit your local tourist attractions, stay overnight, things like that. It's just, it's stupid. Um, And maybe some people want to say this is trying to encourage people to buy season tickets or buy, you know, certain stadiums will have multiple season packs. Like, hey, buy 20 tickets for a discounted price. Things like that. Um, But that's stupid because I don't know if anybody um, is aware of the fact that we're in a shitty economy at the moment, but we are. So I don't think forcing your fans and forcing other fans of the sport of hockey to go out and spend extra money 
just to see one game of your crappy Nashville Predators team. That's just not good business. It's not a good idea, and it's just it's just silly. We always say it with hockey, but hockey, they have a huge loyal fan base, and the fan base is growing every year, but they still suffer. They're still less popular than baseball, than football, than basketball. And stupid things like this, you're not going to get people to come out and see the games when they have to spend extra money they don't want to spend. It's just stupid. I don't understand the logic. I mean, I think you're being clever, or you think you're being clever by doing this. But it's silly. Uh, I guess if anyone disagrees, let me know down below. But I really doubt there's going to be that many people disagreeing with this. It's just, it's stupid. I saw the thing and I thought, why would you hurt yourself in this situation? I think it's only going to hurt you in more of a long-term situation because less people are going to want to buy multiple tickets. Come on, guys. Nashville Predators, get yourselves together. Come on. Pull yourselves up. Get rid of this stupid policy.